Today, I'll show you how I create a video from different images and video clips using Bukuli.com. I'll also add background music, a voiceover and subtitles all in one tool. For this demo, I'm making a New Year's greeting for 2025, just like the one you see here on the right. Let's get started. First, I go to Bukuli.com. Since I already have an account, I don't need to register, but if you're new here, you just click register. You can create an account by entering your name, email and a password or by signing up with your Google account. Once you're logged in, you'll land on the dashboard. Now I go to the videos resource and click the button new video. Here I choose the create a slideshow action and after that I will give my video a name and select the vertical resolution with 1080p HD quality since this video will be formatted for social media. There is also an option to add a webhook URL, which is useful if you want to trigger automations with tools like make.com or Zapier, but I leave it blank for this example. For scene one, I choose image as the media type and file upload as the input method. For the image, I set the duration to 2 seconds and add a light zoom in effect. Then I click the pencil icon to edit the image. I adjust the framing slightly to focus on the hands at the edges and click save to confirm the changes. You can add more scenes by clicking the add scene button. For the next scene, I choose video as the media type and use URL as the input method. I paste a public link to a video from pexels.com, which is a great resource for royalty-free content. After passing the link, the system automatically detects the video length, which in this case is 16.88 seconds. To save some time, I clone scene two by clicking the clone icon. This duplicates the media type and the input method, so I just replace the video URL with a new one. You can preview the scene by clicking the play button. If I need to rearrange the order of my scenes, I can use the arrow buttons or the drag and drop functionality. For example, I switch scene two and three by dragging them into place. For the fourth scene, I clone scene three again and replace the video URL with another link from pexels.com. For the last scene, I upload another image. I click the pencil icon to adjust the framing and center the image. Once I'm happy with it, I click save. When all the scenes are set, I click create to process the video. This takes me to the video details page where I can monitor the progress and see important information related to the video and the scenes. You can also download or play the video. Let's take a look at the video. With the video complete, I use the reuse feature to add background music. I select add audio to a video and click reuse. The form automatically fills in the video details for me. To remove noise from one of the original video clips, I mute its audio. Then I upload a music file by selecting file upload, set the volume to 10%. Then I upload the background music from my computer and enable the trim function to ensure the music matches the video's duration of round about 30 seconds. Finally, I click create to process the video. Once it's done, I preview the video to check the background music.
Don't forget to like, subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss future videos. Next, I add a voiceover that I created with 11 Labs. Again, I use the reuse feature and select add audio to a video. The form is pre-filled and this time I leave the background music active by not muting it. I upload the voiceover file and keep the volume at 100%. Since the voiceover is shorter than the video, I don't use the trim function. I click create to process the video and then preview it to ensure the voiceover sounds perfect. Hello there. As we say goodbye to 2024 and welcome 2025 with open arms, I just wanted to take a moment to wish you a year full of love, laughter and success. Thank you for being such a special part of my life. I'm so grateful for each of you. Let's make this new year unforgettable together. Here's to new adventures, big dreams, and endless happiness. Happy New Year! To complete the video, I add subtitles. Using the Reuse feature, I select Add Subtitle to a Video. The form is already filled in, so I focus on the subtitle section. Here I configure the settings for the subtitles. Let me walk you through the styles available in the style dropdown. Simple is a clean, classic subtitle style with a single color and no additional effects. Perfect if you prefer a minimalistic look. Signal uses signal colors, such as red or green, to grab the viewer's attention quickly. Rainbow features the colors of a rainbow, making subtitles vibrant and playful. Highlight current word highlights the currently spoken word in a specific color while the rest of the text appears in a different color. For this video, I'm using yellow to highlight the current word and white for the rest of the text. And continue with the rest of the subtitle settings, like setting the font family to Lucky Sky and the font size to 15. I set the limit to three words per subtitle and keep the outline width, position and language as it is. The video is now complete, let's take a look at the final result. Hello there. As we say goodbye to 2024 and welcome 2025 with open arms, I just wanted to take a moment to wish you a year full of love, laughter and success. Thank you for being such a special part of my life. I'm so grateful for each of you. Let's make this new year unforgettable together. Here's to new adventures big dreams and endless happiness. Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you next time.